what's it going to be like running out of Heinz Field last time as a Pitt Panther? Uh, bittersweet, you know. Uh, it's been a while since I started playing here. I think it's been since uh, my sophomore year of high school that I've been having games at Heinz Field. So, however many years that is. How do you think you've grown as a player over these last four years? Um, I've grown tremendously, you know, just in different ways, mentally, uh, definitely physically, every way possible. It's a long time since sophomore year of high school. Who's made, made the biggest impact on you while you've been at Pitt? Um, I'll say some players. Um, of course, like early on, uh, James, Avante, uh, people like that, Jordan Whitehead, um, Sean Dobu, and just my people around me now, you know, uh, Diddy, uh, Dane, just guys like that. Uh, as far as players, coaches, I would say uh, Coach Sanders, he did a lot. Um, um, early on, when I made the switch to safety, it was just like a lot going on, but when he came in, it was just like more detail, more focus, and I just learned a lot more about the position from him. So you've seen the coaching staff grow while you've been here. Yeah, for sure, in a, in a big way. Um, Coach Bates, uh, he's one of the best coaches I've been around, like, in all my years. Um, just as far as, like, just, like, being scripted and just, like, explaining everything, um, like, why we do stuff and how we're going to do it. And this is why we're doing this because they do this and just things like that. Yeah, yesterday, uh, Pat said he's you're one of the best free safeties he's ever coached. I mean, what what does that mean to you, knowing he's had some guys in the NFL and that kind of thing? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, when he was at Michigan State, they had a lot of players go first round, and a lot of players just be impact players. And um, even for me to come here and be here and see people play free safety that I, you know, seen and looked up to a little bit, and also just for me to start as a corner and then just make this trans transition to safety basically on my own and then just be able to adapt and just play wherever. Um, that's just like a tremendous, uh, just, I appreciate that. And you know, going back to recruiting, uh, you know, it seemed like you and Pat always had a good connection, good relationship. I mean, how's your relationship grown through the years with, with your head coach? Uh, it's definitely grown um, through recruiting, you know. Uh, he basically told me I was going to play right, uh, right away. And, even through my circumstances, it, it still happened. Uh, so, you know, he kept his word there. And, um, you know, we just still still the same one, two as we've been from before I even got here. Can you say about just the, the group of seniors you guys have on the defense, you, Amir, Salim, Dane, I mean, just the, you know, the impact that you guys have made um, this season specifically? I mean, it, it's definitely a lot of guys I've been around, I've been playing, so. Um, I've been around them, been with them, um, just grown with them. Uh, it's a little weird because I'm like, I, I'm out of my class that I came in with. A lot of those guys redshirted, and you know, me and me and the mayor are the only ones that are uh, graduating. So like, I sit in the front row of meetings, and like all the people that I really came in with that I thought I would be graduating with, like sit behind me, and they're still about to have more time. So it's like, it's just like a weird feeling, just knowing like I'm gonna be the first one out of here. Out of that class that came in, do you look back and say, "Wish I had red redshirted," or do you, are you ready to go? Um, <coughs> my motto is, "Everything happened for a reason." Uh, it must be some reason why I didn't. Uh, in the long run, and the end of the story, when I'll find out. But um, if I could do it all over again, I would redshirt um, just to have that extra security and that more time to be able to make the decision on my own whether mm -hmm. if I want to come out or if I want to come back, but you know, I feel like I'm ready to go, mm -hmm. even if I gotta go, you know? We were talking to Aaron about, he mentioned with you guys being local guys, like hometown heroes, that kind of thing. You kind of follow that line of Tyler Boyd, Jordan Whitehead. I mean, how do you feel like you're kind of mentioned with those guys now? Like you got, you, you know, starred in Pittsburgh High School, went to Pitt, became a starter. I mean, is that something you try to explain to younger guys as well? Um, you know, just, put, just being put in that like conversation is like the reason why you know I came to Pitt in the first place was to be able to just do something like play for my city and you know give my city a reason to cheer, give them something to brag about, like you know, in that way. But I try to keep it like I try to be my own person every day, uh, work on the things I gotta work on, and just do what I can. But as far as the younger guys, I just preach to them what I could preach to them, 
everybody's situation is different, but of course, if you could be the home town here, why not? Who, who do you think will be pitched free safety next season? Um, it depends. You know, there's a lot of guys in that room that can step up and play. You know, Eric Howley, um, we got young guy Brandon Hill. Who's a, he'll be a freshman again next year because he didn't uh, use his red shirt. Um, you know, those are the main two that's sticking out right now. What's impressed you about Eric? And yeah. um, I seen I seen a lot from Eric when we were in El Paso in the bowl game, and uh, he was playing free safety then a little bit, even when he was at corner. And um, even back then, I you know I seen some stuff in him where I was just like, he's gonna be able to to play free safety here, and you know just him growing from the El Paso trip and now, uh, just seeing that growth and just being able to build on that, he'll be a good player. It was the practices out there that, that you saw? Or yeah, the yeah. practices for sure. Just making some plays in practice, getting some interceptions, breaking on balls. He's, he might be the fastest in our room, I don't know.